my name is Georgie and I'm a freelance senior motion designer based on the outskirts of London in a place called Essex. I've been in the industry for over seven years, working with some of the biggest brands around the world. And I'm super excited to be a part of Adobe Stock's Make It Happen series, where I'll get to play around with some of the assets I'll find on Adobe Stock, as well as using Adobe software to create it. I love using Adobe After Effects as well as Premiere Pro to create all my videos and I love using Adobe Stock for all my assets. Now let's take a look at today's brief, which is to craft an animated or live action welcome video for a fictional event or conference of your creation. This event can be anything from celebrating your dog's birthday to a virtual speaker series featuring fictional authors or musicians. So I decided to create a motion design festival championing women, which I have called Pulse. And I'll be using Adobe Stock to bring it to life using imagery, footage, audio, and fonts. So the first thing I want to do is to choose some fonts to use in the video. I've already chosen Kepler as my serif font, and I now want to have a look for a sans serif font. I'll head over to the All Fonts tab and start by using some of the filters here. I want a sans serif font with a heavy weight and a wide width. That's brought up a load of fonts, but I've already spotted my favorite Adobe font, Acumin Pro, which has a wide range of weights and widths within it. So I just want to make sure it's activated so I can use it in my Adobe programs. Now I've chosen my fonts in Adobe Stock, I can head over to Photoshop to start creating my storyboard. I find artboards really helpful in creating storyboards because you can lay out each frame next to each other and see how they flow into one another. I've already written out a script which will really help me when planning out the whole video. Now that I've finished my storyboard in Photoshop, I want to jump back into Adobe Stock and look for some footage, imagery and an audio track to use in my video. I want to have a look for some audio now and what's great is that once I find a track that I like, I can use the Find Similar Track feature to find similar audio. I can even upload a song I like and use that to find similar tracks on Adobe Stock. Once I have all my stock assets, I'm ready to jump into After Effects and start animating my type. I love using After Effects for my kinetic type projects because the program is so versatile, enables me to really experiment with my creations. I'll begin by adding my track to the comp so I can animate my type to the audio. Once I've finished animating, I want to add some final effects to finish the type up. I'll start by adding an adjustment layer and adding a posterized time effect to the adjustment layer. I'll then jump into my effects controls to change the frame rate from 24 to something lower like 18. This will get rid of the clean animation style and make it look a little gritty. Now I want to add some wavy color gradients to my type but instead of adding it directly I want to create an animation and use track mats to add it on top. I'll start by creating a circle and pre-composing this. I'll jump into that pre-composition and add a white solid layer and put this at the bottom of the composition. I'll then add a wiggle expression to the circle to make it move randomly around the composition and add adjustment layer to the top of the composition. I'll then add a turbulent displacement effect to warp the circles, a gaussian blur and some noise. Then I'll duplicate this layer a few times and change the color to get a moving wavy gradient. Now I'll jump back into my main composition and with the layer at the top press the track map button to apply this to everything underneath it which is just the type. And now I'm ready to import my Adobe After Effects composition into Premiere Pro using a dynamic link. I drag and drop my After Effects file into my Premiere Pro project tab and an import settings window will appear allowing me to see the contents of my After Effects file and choose my working composition. It not only imports footage but also audio from After Effects which means I don't have to worry about realigning the audio in Premiere Pro to match my After Effects composition. Now my After Effects composition has imported into Premiere Pro, I can start adding my stock footage and imagery to my edit. Now I've finished my project, I want to send it across to my client for feedback using Frame.io. Frame.io improves reviewing, making it a collaborative process. It's really simple to use, simply add a new project, upload your video, and then you can comment directly on frames, making it even easier to convey your idea. Now I've shown you all the steps I've taken to create the video, I want to show you the final piece. So without any further ado, let's take Take a look. enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Make sure you check out my stock collection on Adobe Stock and thanks for watching.